Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to change the mobile version of your Squarespace website so that the header of your website is actually at the bottom of the page and stays visible no matter where the user is scrolling. Now to do this, we're going to add just a little bit of custom code, and I have listed it in the description below, but as I'm sure you can imagine, there are quite a few steps to making this magic happen. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and show you exactly how to set this up in Squarespace. So here we are inside Squarespace, and I do want to mention before we get started, this tutorial is specific for version 7.1. The code that we're about to use right here, this will not work in older versions of Squarespace, just the latest version 7.1. If you're not sure what version you're using, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash themes to get more information. So here we are on our website, and if we look at the mobile version, we have the header up here at the very top. I click on this, I get the menu, and I can close it. What we're going to do is move this to the bottom of the screen, and we're going to do that using this code right here. Now, don't be too intimidated by how lengthy this code is. The only parts of it you'll want to change are what are in bold. You don't have to have a border or a shadow, and I'll tell you how to change that. And then these values right here that say 10VH, all that does is change the size of the header, so you might need to adjust it if your header is larger or smaller than mine in my demo site right here. But let's go ahead and take this code. I'm just going to copy it, and it is pasted in the description beneath this video. We're going to navigate to Design, and we're going to click on Custom CSS. This is where you're going to paste the code. I'm going to move this window and zoom in so we can see what's happening here. And there we go. Now the header of our website is at the very bottom. Now I'm going to scroll down here because there are a couple of important things I want to show you about this code. First and foremost, we have the border and the box shadow that I've added. If you don't want a border, just remove that line and it'll go away. If you don't want a shadow, just remove this line right here and it'll go away. Or if you want to customize it, change up these values until it looks perfect for the style of your own website. Now, after that, we have page margin top negative 10 VH. What's that all about? What we did here is we had to scoot the page back up after we pulled the header down. I'll move all the way up to the top of the page and show you if we don't have that code, it's still leaving space for the header at the top of my website. We've got to add that code so it scoots the page back up. Now the next value does the same thing for the footer sections. Let's scroll back down to the bottom. If I remove this code, you'll notice we can no longer see that all rights reserved copyright information. Pasting that there, it'll come back. We need to add that 10VH to the bottom to make space for the header. And then after that, we've also added a margin bottom to the page section. Check this out. We'll scroll up here. This is the last page section. This gray section is the footer. If I remove that line of code, the footer is going to be hidden behind that page section because we scooted the whole page down. We want to make sure that we scoot the last page section down as well, giving it a little bit of a bottom margin so we can see the footer beneath it. This last line of code changed the mobile menu. Now, when we open this, you'll see the scroll bar stops right here at the top of our header. If we remove this line of code, The button is going to be behind the site title and the X. The navigation is making room at the very top. We need to make sure that that navigation makes room at the bottom instead. So by pasting this code here, our mobile menu will scoot up the page so we'll have the header visible and functional on the bottom. Now, again, the only part of the code that you're going to want to change is this border right here, this box shadow, and if your header is slightly larger or smaller than what I've got right here, change this 10VH value to whatever value you need it to be. I'm using VH, which stands for view height, but you can use any length value that suits your site style. When you're all done modifying this code, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. In the description of this video, you're going to find a list of all of the steps that we just walked through together, along with the code that we just used to make this happen on the mobile version of our Squarespace website. You're also going to find a link in that description. If this is your very first time using custom CSS for Squarespace, I would love to teach you the basics. So click on that link to head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. There you can get a copy of my free guide to the basics of CSS for Squarespace. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. 
I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.